If you're planning a cruise to Alaska, you're going to be able to see some amazing things just by looking out your stateroom window. But the real fun begins when you step off the ship and head out on an excursion. Here's a rundown of some of the Alaska excursions my wife and I absolutely loved and a handful that we were a little disappointed in or ones we probably wouldn't do again. Chances are good you're going to be visiting Ketchikan, Juneau, and Skagway. So I'm mostly going to focus on those ports. Let's start with Ketchikan. If you like shopping, Ketchikan has you covered. You dock just a short walking distance from the main shopping area and you have a ton of stores to choose from. This is a souvenir shopper's paradise. But if shopping isn't your thing, you do have other options. The Great Alaska Lumberjack Show is an easy walk from the dock and it's a fun show. I don't know if I'd want to see it a second time though. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad show, it's a lot of fun, but once you've seen it, you've seen it. Creek Street is also just a few blocks away. These historic buildings have been around for a long time. And today, they're mostly unique shops, but a few years ago, many of them were houses of ill repute, and some even have tours if you're interested in that kind of history. A few years ago, some of our family members had an excursion that involved taking a scenic flight on a seaplane. That excursion was pretty pricey, but they said they really enjoyed it. Honestly, our favorite thing to do in Ketchikan is just to browse around, meet the locals, look at the totem poles around Whale Park, and do a little shopping. Before I tell you about Alaska's capital city, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the Backroads Tourist Channel. Not only do I have some interesting cruising videos, but I also take you with me to weird, beautiful, unique, wonderful, quirky places all across the United States. I have a lot of fun traveling around and I really enjoy sharing it with you. Juneau is also known for its shopping, but there are a lot of fun things to do too. We have a tradition of visiting the Red Dog Saloon every time we're in town. It's a fun atmosphere and a great way to either begin or end your stay in Juneau. Right near the pier is the Gold Belt Tram, which will take you 1,800 feet into the mountains for an incredible view. Once you're up there, there's a restaurant, hiking trails, of course, shopping opportunities, and so much more. As of right now, it's $50 for an all-day pass for adults and $35 for kids. If you visit the Mendenhall Glacier Visitors Center, be aware that the center isn't very close to the actual glacier. It used to be, but the glacier has been receding every year. You can still see it, but it's just not that close. The information center is interesting though, and that being said, there are trails you can take that will get you a little bit closer to the glacier, and there are excursions that will get you even closer to the glacier. We've never done it, so I can't give it a good or bad review, but it is an option for you. One of our favorite things to do in Juneau is to go whale watching. We've been on larger boats and smaller boats, and we saw whales on both of them. The larger boat had more amenities like better restrooms, more comfortable seats, and a snack bar. We've been whale watching in mid to late May, and that time of year the whales are still arriving in the Alaska area, so we probably didn't see as many as we would have if we had gone later on in the summer. Still, it's always exciting to see a whale spot out and watch them break the surface. In Skagway, the top excursion is the White Pass and Yukon Railroad train ride. It's a little pricey, but it's so beautiful that my wife and I have done it several times. I have an entire video dedicated to the 10 tips for riding the train, and I'll leave a link to that on the end of this video. The first time we took the trip, we rode the train up to Car Cross, then took a tour bus back. Now, one thing we didn't like is the bus stopped at several touristy areas and we really felt pretty rushed and we weren't given enough time to see anything, so we probably wouldn't do that again.
Skagway has a rich and colorful history and just walking down the street and looking at the buildings is a lot of fun. You can also find historical tours of the town that will highlight everything from old houses of ill repute to the gold rush to the legend of Soapy Smith, who is a notorious con man who died in a shootout in Skagway on July 8th, 1898. And of course, it goes without saying, if you're a shopaholic, Skagway has plenty of opportunities for you to spend your money too. Alaska has a lot to offer for cruisers. Some of the excursions are very low key while others are a bit more strenuous. Make sure you pick the activity that you're most comfortable with. Thanks for watching Backroads Tourist today. I'm Jeff. Enjoy your Alaskan cruise, and I'll see you on the Backroads.